Hi everyone. In this video, we will cover data analytics apprenticeship, interview process, and job experience from Jeril, who has completed one and a half years at Google. So my process started like I wrote, uh, so I applied for this apprenticeship on LinkedIn. Uh, I mean, via the and it took me to the career site. Post that, then uh, I got an email for. Uh, what was that? The online challenge. CIT and... something? No, no, no. This online challenge was by Google. Okay. And what yeah. was it about? Uh, it was about... Uh, the aptitude test. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I had to. Uh, I think they had given me. Uh, they had given me a date, and I could take in that exam anytime in the day. Uh, it was an. It was an half an hour exam, and it had the items in it was more of logical reasoning critical thinking type questions mm -hmm. uh, the ones that come in aptitude test uh, then post that i think uh, i got uh, i got an email by kate that's cait that's uh, that's google's uh, third party uh, pro provider who will who will give training external training for the apprentice once the apprentice gets in Okay. So yeah, so this was uh, so I got an email from them for an HR round. That mm -hmm. was basically a phone call round where they would call me up and uh, they uh, and uh, so I scheduled some time with them. In mm -hmm. the uh, so uh, during the phone call, it was mostly like HR based questions like uh, like your strengths and weaknesses and uh, questions like. Uh, like strengths and weaknesses and i think they told me to write a letter i don't know what was it about i think it was about vacation or something to okay. ask for vacation something like that they had told to ask uh, they told to write a letter and then post that then i got uh, i mean after a month i guess i got another email from google this was mm -hmm. from google itself the google recruiter and they were like you are selected for a face to face round with a uh, Googler. So I'm like, okay. So then again, uh, for, before that, we did have a uh, like a mock interview kind of thing, like not exactly a mock interview, but mm -hmm. something that would get us prepared for the face to face round. Okay. So, like, how many rounds and what were the durations? Okay, so mine actually, if you see mine, mine was like very, I think I was in the batch too. But post that, they have made the duration very less. But I'll speak about my batch too. So I, so I got, uh, so I had applied for it in uh, uh, October, no, November, October end of 2021. Mm -hmm. I then got the first uh, mail for the online challenge in, uh, I think, uh, in December or end of November 2021. Okay. Then my online challenge happened in December 2021. Mm -hmm. Then my first round with Kate, that was the HR round, then was in January 2022. And uh, my face-to-face -face rounds with Google was in February 2022. And in March, I started my apprenticeship in March. Oh, nice. Uh, just want to zoom in on the process part. What, sorry, on-site process part. So mm -hmm. there were uh, two uh, two rounds, is it? Where, yes. where your technical stuff was tested? Was yeah. It? Yeah. So actually, I don't know about, I mean, speaking to me, speaking about mine, I didn't have exactly two uh, I mean, I didn't have exactly technical stuff. Mm -hmm. I mostly had a lot of, uh, like, even though I come from a tech, I even come from the same background, but they did not ask me anything technical. Like, they mostly asked me, like, real life example and how in that we could apply a little bit of data analytics. So, uh, and so. Uh, when you say uh, live example, uh, yeah. what kind of, is it like a situational question or what kind of situational question uh, are asked? 
not like exact time asking, just like okay. some somewhat uh, what wow. like if someone has to prepare, then what he or she should look at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it can be anything. It can be, for example, it can be a college. What? How you can use data analytics in college? Like in college, in the college office, if you have to speak about uh, the different. For example, for one spe specific grade, in that how do how is the in the grade like in uh, for uh, like for example twelfth grade. Mm -hmm. So in that, how do we uh, how is everything like uh, classified between how are the students classified in their languages uh, like in oh. the subjects they take or something like that? Like this is just an example I've given from my end. I mean something like this can uh, like and how would you uh, so, for example, if someone has on merit, if you want to make it, how mm -hmm. do you? What would you consider for that specific student in merit? Like, would you take the best of five or whatever? Like, there are a lot of uh, scenarios like that. You getting my point? Yeah, yeah. So both like not any technical stuff is being asked. More like uh, behavioral and situational kind of stuff. Yes. Yes, you're right. Yeah, uh, mostly uh, like I don't know. Like obviously you do. You also would have gone through a round of a googly round, right? Yeah. Yes. So we. Uh, so my both the rounds consisted of googly rounds and uh, even something like this. But I do know some folks who had to who had like technical items like something like logistic regression and something like that. I mean, if you know what. No, no, uh, I do have an idea, but yeah. Okay, so some people uh, can be yeah. asked. People yeah. can be asked about uh, some yeah. data analytics concepts also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Like something about mean or variance or something like that. Like pretty basic things, like of what you need, like for data analytics. But I was surprised that I come from a background of uh, stats. I mean, I have a degree in statistics, and I was not asked anything in data analytics. But yeah. yes. People did have, and uh, I mean, sometimes the gap between both those interviews can be both the interviews can even be on the same day mm -hmm. or on two different days. But in my case, it was after, like, it was like, for example, my first interview was on twenty third Feb, and my next interview was on twenty fifth of Feb. So there was a middle, there was a gap too. Okay, okay. So yeah. you had a decent gap also. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it is like I mean, actually, after my round, after my batch, they have come like two batches have come in. So they are interview process was actually like it was not for so long. It was a little less time. So, uh, so maybe like with every batch coming in, the process keeps getting shorter. Okay, okay. And post that uh, team matching, which which in which you were not involved, that happened kind of in packet, is it? Yes, yes, you're right. The team matching and the location. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do give us, uh, they do ask us what is your preferred location, but obviously yeah. they will uh, see what is like, uh, what is that person in real life. Uh, for example, if you are something in uh, what they would uh, like you to be in, I mean, I think you're getting my point on that. Yeah, that pretty much do cover the process in detail. Are you experienced, like, or fresh out of college when you were going through the process? Okay, I'm fresh. Honestly, I just have a month experience as an intern. Intern. Uh, so that was just a month's experience. So I, so yeah, that's what I can say that I was a fresher because uh, that one month would not matter much. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I just, right. yeah. So yeah, I had graduated in twenty twenty one itself in um uh, in June or something. I graduated and I did this. I did then one one internship for a month and then I got this the next year in March. Got it. Yeah, but there are people who also have had experience and also come out get this apprenticeship, and also there are people who, even though they do not have a background in data analytics, but 
they have some specific knowledge in it and mm. even they are in it so i have some people i know some people who are who are who are in the commerce background and oh, they people from commerce backgrounds can switch yeah. to data analytics or printing yeah yeah a little tip for that would be if they would uh, go do some course or something that could be put in their cv like for example a udemy course or a coursera course of data analytics so that when you go in the cv you can like see it like okay uh, this person has some idea of data analytics because at the end of the day they are interviewing for people who have a passion in it and not for someone who actually knows it so if they have something like that also in their cv like even an idea of it would be great mm mm-hmm. got it got it some word interest in the field is a yeah. key metric i think yes yes because they definitely sometimes they do ask questions like why do you want to do data analytics and if uh, someone can say oh, okay so i was just going through the course and i was checking it can also be something as like in, like instagram is right now the real thing like going all of a sudden one reel popped up and and it looked very interesting and so i just happened to do this course and and i found it very interesting and how it could be used in real life something like that <laughs> yeah right right okay in general you now that you are working in this role mm-hmm. so how are you finding this uh, role as a like entity as in are you enjoying it or are you like um, how satisfied are you with it or not more like that? okay uh i mean my i mean it really depends from team to team so speaking from my team and from my perspective i really like the work that i do like i mean even though it's not just limited to google sheets like or sql like mm-hmm. what they have asked us in the in the job description it is more like if you i mean even though i was not someone who knew coding or not like i didn't know co- i didn't know coding but not so much but now i mean my team made like my team helped me like to i like it, what do they say like broadened my uh, like i'm broadened my skills and all something like that so uh, i do now i do know like google apps script i know java script i know html so uh, i mean i did learn a lot of things in that along with that speaking with people and uh, this communication skills have improved a lot like i uh, like since my work deals with a lot of vendors of google mm-hmm. so speaking with them like there is a there is some like my team is some like they will they have so much faith in me like they literally leave me to like speak to them and all and to present things and all like they are like you just do do it however you want it's okay we we just we have your back you don't worry about it so mm-hmm. i think uh, i think the, that level of freedom that level of uh, learning is something that i that what i have done in the last one and a half year i think it's pretty great it's been a good fantastic journey honestly for me i just well uh, that's what i wanted to ask and thank you so much for <coughs> sharing it uh, in depth so thank you for watching if you have more doubts do comment it out please like and subscribe for more inside google stuff